how to add variants to existing products, Shopify. Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add variants to an existing product on Shopify. So let's get into it. First of all, you have to go to your Shopify store and you will get right here. This is my Shopify admin and you'll also go to your uh, shopify.com slash admin. You will land right here. Today, I'm going to show you how to create variants or different options to an already existing product. So let's actually jump into it. Uh, once you get right here, you are here at your home. You're going to go to the products here and it will show you your product list. I have this product list right here. Let me show you how to create variants. So first, you're going to select the product. I'm going to select this hoodie right here. It will open up the product for me. So we have our title, we have our description, we have already added our media, we have the pricing ready. So now what you guys need to do is you're going to scroll down a little bit and you will find the variant option here. You can see it is just above the search engine listing here. We have variants and you're going to click on add options like size and color. Before that, you can also create a new product if you like, and you can add like description. Um, you can add the pricing as well. For instance, for this product, I'm going to add the pricing so that we can also set up a pricing for the variants. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to scroll down to the variants here, click on add, and I will be able to create variants such as size, color, material, and style. So let's go with the size first, select the option name, and then you have to select the option values. So in values, we have a small size, then we have a medium, then we have a large and extra large or whatever sizes you have on your store, you're just going to enter them right here. So these are going to be the different options of values that I have added. Now, all you need to do is just hit done and the variants will be created. So now I have four variants for this product. Let's create another option. So click right here and this time I will be selecting color. So in color, we have black. We have also this product in gray, blue, and yellow. So these are the four colors this product is available in. So these are going to be my variants. Click on done and you will see now we have a lot of different variants created. Now you don't need to create variants one by one because Shopify will create it for you. Now I have small black, small gray, small blue and small yellow. And then it moves to the medium category, which has like four colors. And then we have large in four colors and extra large in four color. If you feel like there is a variant that is not available, let's say that I do not have like extra large yellow. I can delete the variant anytime I like, but these are the variants that have been created. Now we can customize them. For instance, we have this here, so we can upload the images now. Click on uh, the image section here and you will enter a variant. So I'm going to select this right here. This is going to be this. And then we have medium black. If you do not have all of these different images, then you can select maybe like just to give an idea what it looks like. So we have these uh, images added. Once the images are done, now you can select the variant prices. If the price is similar to the main product, then you're going to just keep it that way. You can see it's automatically filled here. Now, if you feel like there is a product that has a different pricing, let's say that uh, the medium yellow is actually a little expensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the price for just this variant. Let's say the extra large are a little, you know, expensive. Then I can also add the amount here. Something is cheaper. So I can change the amount here as well. So we can actually customize each variant uh, separately too. You can just click on the edit option. And now we have price, cost per item, inventory. Uh, this is where you will enter the stock keeping unit. And then we also have the custom information that we can add. Click on done and the options for this product will be saved here. This is how you create variants. You can see now they are created. Again, we have different uh, options. We have size and color. If I wanted to create more, I can just click on add another option. And this time you can select material, size. Now, if you do not sell 
clothes, then of course you can create other variants such as uh, the material, then we have maybe quantity, we have the sizes in different measurements, then you will be able to add them right here. It's completely customizable. Uh, so these are the variants created now and now I will be able to edit them out completely. You will also get the option of on hand here. On hand means that the product that you have in your store. So you can select your on hand here and you can create another variant. So once you're done with the variants, all you need to do is click on save and these variants will be saved. So this is a preview of the variants that I just created. You can also get a preview for the product here. Click on preview and it will take you to your Shopify store to show you the preview of the product. So let's actually check it out. And here we have it. You can see this is my product and these are the different variants. This is what it looks like. We have the size, which is small, and then we have color black. Let's say I wanted to go with a medium black that this is going to be, this is what it will look like. You can upload images for different variants in your settings, but this is what it will look like to the customer. You can see. They have the price here and then you, they will be able to select the variant. The more variants you have, of course, the more variety of product you have, the more customers you will get and the more products you will be able to sell. So you can see these are the variants that we created with our Shopify store. Now, once you're done, you can also change the uh, status and everything for the product, just how you create one. Um, and this is how you will create uh, different variants. You can see now this has 16 variants available for this product. Similarly, I can select this product now. And now we know how to create a variant, right? We're just going to scroll down a little bit to the variant option here, and we will be able to create as many variants as we like. And this is what it will look like on your store my customers will be able to select uh, different uh, variants here. Similarly, if you want to create a brand new product, then you're going to click on add product here and you will be able to create one. Uh, we can also import different uh, variants if we want to. So here you just enter a title uh, and you can add, for instance, we have a shirt that we are selling. Then I'm going to add the description here. Then I'm going to add the media uh, pricing, compare ad pricing. Then we have to enter cost per item. We have inventory. Then we have our uh, SKU, we have shipping and we have variants. Uh, we can also, when it comes to the shipping, we can also set up different shipping for different products because if your different variants have different weight, then of course you will set up a uh, different shipping for that. So in shipping settings, you can actually go to your shipping and delivery here and you will enter your, you know, processing time, you will enter your rates. And even if you want to set up a different rate for different packages, you will be able to do so within your shipping and delivery settings here. Uh, when it comes to the payments, again, uh, you can add different pricing to different variants and you will be able uh, to receive different payments. So it totally depends on that uh, variant that you have created. So this way, you can see we just created 16 variants to this product. You can also go ahead and create options to your already existing products on your Shopify store and sell more products and run a successful business online. This brings us to the end. I hope that I was a big help. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.